The recent death sentence passed by the Qatar court against eight ex-Indian Navy personnel has stirred a hornet's nest. India has expressed shock over the verdict and is in touch with the Qatar authorities. It has vowed to explore all legal options to secure the release of its citizens. Now, these have, uh, persons have provided training and related services to Qatar's armed forces and security agencies. Expressing shock, the Ministry of External Affairs has already said it's closely monitoring the case as it holds high significance. And India has firmly stated that it will take up the matter with Qatar authorities and ensure that appropriate measures are taken to address the issue. Opposition, however, isn't convinced and has accused the government of inaction. I can't say anything except to express my deep distress and shock. We don't know enough facts. The government has not disclosed enough facts. But it's only when more facts are available that we'll be able to say something. We can only say we hope that the government did the utmost that it could and that I hope that the government will continue to do whatever is necessary. I am the government of the government's government and the government of the government. Our 9th Sena's 8 पूर्वतकारी फांसी पर लटकाए जा रहे और यह मामला लोकसभा में विपक्ष ने उठाया पर खामोश है सरकार एक साल सोती रही सरकार क्यों नहीं कूटनीतिक स्तर पर राजनीतिक स्तर पर और व्यक्तिगत स्तर पर इन आठों के प्राण बचाने के लिए क्यों नहीं बात द बीजेपी इज द गवर्नमेंट इज लुकिंग टू द मैटर एंड द जस्टिस विल प्रिवेल देखिए सरकार सचेत है सरकार ने पहले ही उनको उन्होंने ये निर्णय लिया था उसी टाइम ही उसकी निंदा भी की है और सरकार अपनी तरफ से पक्ष सक्षम रखेगी सही तरीके से और मुझे लगता है कि उनको न्याय मिलेगा You're watching the news hour at 10 debate number 2 on Times Now Super Prime Time News of eight former Navy officers being convicted with a death sentence in Qatar has created shockwaves here in India. To talk to us, we have today Mr. Chakravarti, who is in fact the brother-in-law of veteran commander Pakala Sugunakar. Uh, Mr. Kapoor Kalyan Chakravarti, at this very difficult moment, first and foremost, uh, uh, the entire nation stands with you and your family. This is a huge issue of concern. Tell us about how your family is coping with this Shocking news of the death penalty that has been announced by a Qatar court for eight Indian formal neighbor officers, including your brother-in-law. First of all, hi everybody. Uh, as you know, the death sentence yesterday, what uh, Qatar government has given, which is a shocking news for the Indian government as well as to all the eight naval officers' family, in which my sister, kids, everybody are in a shock we, they are just speechless. On behalf of them, after seeing their situation, I thought I should reach media, my voice should go. At least PMO ke paas mera awad jane se, something could be resolved, is what my concern is. Right. And certainly at the highest level of government, from to the best of our information, uh, at the level of the MEA uh, and at other levels, uh, certainly there is a lot of concern that is being expressed and efforts are on. But uh, let me ask you that uh, this has been on for the past 14 months or so, if I'm not mistaken. Have you been in touch with the Indian government during this time? And even after the sentence, uh, have you heard from the government? Sir, uh, I have no contacts with the Indian government at any point. It's only my sister. She has been interacting with the government. I have never talked to any of the officers or anyone. Hmm. I'm just interacting with only and only with my sister. And uh, after seeing yesterday her condition, she couldn't tell me anything. So as I'm into this events and entertainment industry, so I felt that media is the only channel where I could approach. So I cannot give you any statement related to, to whom I have spoke or nothing. There's no information from me. Right. But uh, has your sister been appraised of the charges against them? What exactly is it uh, that uh, they have been uh, found uh, allegedly being guilty of? Because this was an in-camera trial that was completely shrouded in secrecy and nobody really knows what they've been even convicted for at this point of time. So first thing, see, the, there is a false news which is running in the media.
that they have been a spy to Israel, all these ex-naval officers, which is a false statement. Can anybody prove me where did any government give a statement that these people are being a spy to Israel? Mm. Neither Qatar government has given any statement, nor the Indian government has given the statement. Then where did this word come into the scenario? Mm. Is my question. First mm. thing. See, from 14 months, we are pleading the government, Indian government, what are the charges? Please convey us. Mm. They say nothing has been conveyed by the Qatar government. Then where did this spy conspiracy has come into the scenario? Is my question to the media. Right, right. And one more thing, before giving a death sentence, hmm. the Qatar government should consult the Indian government. Hmm. They should have spoken about it, which is not been informed. And it is a shock to Indian government and their families also. How right. can this happen? Right. Uh, throughout his incarceration, have you been in touch with your brother-in-law? Have you been able to speak to him uh, at any point of no, time? Sir. No, sir. They were arrested no, no. last year and they were put in solitary confinement? No I, no, I don't know what confinement he was into or what situation he's facing. Never my sister has briefed me anything on it. She's always sad from last 14 months. How is Jijaji? He is fine. What are the cases, charges? I don't know. What is this happening? Hmm. How can this happen like this? You should be aware about it. When the government is not telling, what should I do? So how many months should I see my sister suffering and the kids suffering? And all these naval officers are suffering. Today in Times of India, I have seen about Sugnakar. Character has been posted so nicely. He's a reputed officer. And other officers are also so reputed. One is a uh, president awardee. Hmm. How can these people be a spy? Where did this word spy come in the media channel? Who has declared it? I want to know that. Please come with the evidence. If you give me the evidence, I will talk to the Indian government regarding this. Right. Right. No, I can certainly understand your pain, your concern, sir. But... Uh... We've seen how the Indian ambassador to Doha has met them thrice. They had been given consular access is what uh, we were told. Are you hopeful that the Indian government may use its good offices to bring them back? See, yes, Indian government is trying its best. But Qatar government should also give some information where the Indian government can react more. It is only a partial information which has been passed to Indian government also. Hmm. See, like earlier, there were no phone calls from my brother-in-law to my sister. Hmm. But when the appeal was given to Indian government, somehow they tried to pass on this message and got an approval from Qatar for a weekly once calls. Hmm. They, they allowed us to meet. See, everything was going on as per the information what they could get and they are trying to do it. Hmm. But the rest of the information also to, is to be communicated to the Indian government from the Qatar. Hmm. Then only things could move on. Right. Now, giving a death sentence, I think the government should move more faster. Absolutely. And we also know that the families have filed mercy pleas with the Emir of Qatar. There is speculation that charges involved here, uh, uh, of course, as you rightly mentioned, uh, about some kind of defense-related issues uh, that could have been shared. Any communication about... Uh, uh, you know, what has happened to that plea that has been uh, put out? I'm not aware about that scenario. Never my sister has discussed or by any way I, I could get this information. It's just now I come to know through you. Mm -hmm. So I will try to check on this also. Are you in touch with the families of the other officers, sir? No, sir. No, no contacts. Okay. I'm just talking blindly on their behalf also. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Also, we understand because that I've gone through their profile on the net. Hmm. So what I could see is all are reputed officers. Absolutely. There's no two ways about it. There have been only glowing tributes to all of them that we've been seeing so far on the social media. But uh, let me ask you, sir, there are, according to the information available with us, four different types of courts in Qatar. Now, since this is part of an ongoing judicial process, do you believe it could be difficult to simply secure a pardon and have them return? 
it is not difficult if our indian government pm talks it will be very easy if you can remember one incident in india one air force officer has uh, un unexpectedly flied into pakistan area and our yes. uh, great pm sir has brought him back yes so we are expecting the same same way where the pm can talk to the government and uh, get this resolved in a smoothy way sure so my sure. plead will be just if pm sir could give an appointment to all these eight ladies hmm. it will be very helpful at least a hope of Right. Absolutely. I'm sure at the highest levels of government, your voice is being heard and appropriate action would be taken. But sir, may I ask you, did you know anything about what Dahara Global did? That is the company I believe they were working with. Were you uh, in the know about the nature of employment of your brother-in-law? See, my brother-in-law, when uh, he's been posted in 2018, hmm. he was the FCN. Like he was into the training part. to okay. the employees over there mm -hmm. so they were other officers who got arrested they are the directors but my imagination is see they have gone to qatar on an employment based to a company right now the company doesn't exist okay now where is the company hmm Us, it, its website is not there the ceo is not there who is been arrested and who is been released why did he shut down the company Hmm. When the company hasn't done any fault, then why did he shut down his company and why did he remove all these employees? It is not the duty of the company to get them back. It is hundred percent his responsibility. He has to fight, but our Indian government is fighting on it. Right. So you're saying the employer has abdicated his duty, and uh, uh, therefore it is the employees who are suffering as a result of that. Yes, hundred percent. They were working for their company. Hmm. they did they didn't do any business over there they didn't go for doing any business they have gone on an employment rolls on an official basis but let me also ask you about our parliamentarians who've brought this up before the government in the last 14 months uh, several parliamentarians saying that perhaps more urgency should have been uh, taken up by the government this issue could have been picked up before uh, the seriousness which was uh, perhaps uh, should have been afforded to this issue there are opposition leaders who are saying that perhaps that is something that uh, should have been given priority earlier how do you look at these statements coming in see if priority was not given by the government then as per my knowledge uh, the phone calls meeting and everything couldn't happen they are trying their best ways whatever information they are getting from the qatar government they are trying to execute that and uh, trying to convey all to these ladies so i don't think so that uh, government is not doing anything the speedy process has to be initiated hmm. now because the death sentence has been issued right and in this 14 days our government has to be more, more proactive than what it was it is not like that the government was not working it is working from the day one what hmm. i have observed because i have been talking to my sister regarding this what how is the things going on and everything she never complained anything related to indian government is not doing anything it is doing right. but in, but their hands are also tight with a limited information absolutely it is absolutely. only our pm can take it over what i feel now right and that, that's actually the point i was also coming to because india has developed strong ties with qatar in recent times we've seen how the prime minister had been there in 2016 and qatar has also been an intermediary in our talks for instance with the taliban we have a 8 lakh strong diaspora living and working there given the sensitive nature of this case uh, realistically do you think there's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot that can be done yes sir it it, it should be done hm Okay, and also in fact, yeah, yeah. So you think the diplomatic ties are strong, and uh, you know this this is something that is quite workable, quite achievable, easily for our government to do. Yes, our government can do. It is something where that Qatar government is hiding. I think they they want to talk to somebody in our government and explain this issue, which is not happening. Hmm. This can be resolved, sir. For every problem, there is a solution. 
it is not like that no problem cannot be resolved every problem is resolved right uh, sir i'd like to thank you so much for taking the time out speaking to us here mr chakravarti we certainly hope that you hear positive news at the very earliest uh, coming out from qatar and certainly it's not just you or the eight families but the entire nation which is praying for their early release thank you so much for taking the time out and sharing with us your family's pain and sorrow at this extremely difficult moment sir